Mr. President, Vice Principals, Senior Masters, invited guests, members of the staff, parents, students, and any other attendee to this August gathering. I warmly greet you all by saying Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is indeed a great honor and privilege to be given this opportunity to deliver a thank you message to this noble school. I felt sort of words to express my emotions, my gratitude for the opportunity I have received to be the head boy of the mighty kingdom of water technical of our senior secondary school. First of all, I would like to thank the entire school management who has shown immense faith in me by selecting me as the head boy of this prestigious institution and always been supportive of our initiatives and encouraged us to strive for excellence. I stand here today as a proud and grateful graduate to express my heartfelt thanks to our energetic, industrious, willing and wonderful teachers who have been our guiding lights imparting wisdom and knowledge to us and nurturing our talents. Their unwavering support has been instrumental in our growth and development. Mr. MC, permit me to recognize the presence of the invited guests who have taken their time out of their busy schedules to grace this occasion. I would also like to express my utmost gratitude to my family for their continuous love support and motivation through the journey. I will also not forget to thank my everlasting Pacific friends like Musa Bangura alias Celebrity, Honorable Salif Ba alias The Invincible, Suleiman Jame, Abdul Krubali, Lamin Chamba, etc. for their advices, support and positive influences. Fellow graduates, it has been long and rough and even tough it has been days, weeks, months, and exactly three years of sleepless nights running from helters to skelters. But all is now history for us. This is not the end. In fact, it is the beginning of a new level of our educational career. Therefore, let us celebrate and commemorate this special day with love, honor, and tolerance. We have started with many people, but unfortunately, some could not accomplish it due to one reason or the other. And even us who are graduating today, some of us will never see each other again. Some may travel, some may get sick, and some may die, even not now, but someday. Therefore, we must thank the Almighty Allah for giving us the ability and the capability to accomplish this milestone. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. We have broken one leg of success. Working will now be hard for it. So, we need to add some little bit of pace to achieve it. I hope and pray that we all come out with flying colors, which shall lead us to a new chapter of our education. For some of you who are yet to graduate, you are still in the process. But know that it is not it is not easy to be here where the graduates where the graduates are today. So, no matter how hard the situation might be, just know that it will come to an end one day, a day like today. Do not forget to read every day. Not only to read, but try to understand what you are reading. Ask your teachers for assistance and focus in class. I am just advising you as a head boy and as a brother as well. Be good students by reading. Have respect, have determination, and work harder. Allah will help you by His grace. He, Allah says in His Holy Quran, and be present for the sake of your Lord. Quran chapter 74, verse 7. So just be patient. As the saying goes, nothing comes easy. In fact, the one you struggle for, you respect that more than that you work not for. So be good students. I just want the good part in you. 
Congratulations once again, my fellow graduates. As saying goodbye is the hardest challenge, especially after completing senior secondary school. I wish you all a fruitful end in your educational career. And my final advice to my fellow graduates, let us always maintain discipline wherever we are. I quote from a vibrant Pan-African by the name Professor Lumumba, who says that no matter how educated you are, or no matter how rich you are, if you don't have the gift of discipline, then you are a danger to society. So, let us maintain discipline as it is very important in our life. Let us never cry, but indeed smile and sacrifice. Let us focus on our mission, have vision to accomplish our missions and amaze this country, to make this country a great country. It should be done, it can be done, it must be done, and we are the ones who will do it. God bless you. Now, once again, my name is Suleiman Jame, a student from 12A1, and then I am here to share a piece with you. And then it is titled My Education System, and the piece reads, My dream is not broken, my love is not wicked. My aspirations are not seeking, but I am too afraid of the future if the type of education we have is what will continue. If what we do is not what we promise, and if what we promise is not what we do, if excellence we can renew on the action plans we do, if what we are taught cannot reflect, then it's not a dream come true. For my education, our education is a whole bowl of porridge tainted with sands that only give impressions without meeting our demands. A bad dream carrying a huge weight, a huge burden, a huge gap between quantity and quality. A diminished standard surrounded with poor results. A gap between practical and theory. Books and pens getting active. Students getting lazy. Problem solvers lost in solutions getting busy and groggy. Too much failure in exams. The system continues to offend. Let us facilitate few teaching materials for students to comprehend what they are taught and how they are taught. There are reasons they cannot defend. For knowledge we understand, for verses we overspend some blasts, some comments, but the real can no more pretend that our faith in quality is gradually fading away, and the solutions must visit now before the fire burns the hay. Through, commit through commitment and productive actions, not just by mere awards, so the generations are aware, the informations are always renewed. To the government, parents, teachers and stakeholders, help us realize the saying of education is the key to success. Within Within or outside the four corners of the classroom, from the circles of Western education to the triangles of the matrices, from the squares of vocational training to the rectangles of from the squares of vocational training to the rectangles of the matrices. If this what we could, what we should, if taking care of people's welfare is what we would, so the facts are clear and our faculties are growing bigger on what should have been. If the administrators were more serious, what we couldn't have done, what we shouldn't do, and what we didn't do. If they are the same with what we wouldn't do, that is exactly what we shouldn't do. We need an education system where the interests of the students will come first, where teachers will not sell jobs because they are paid extremely less. We need an education system where the differently able will be supported. And when the discrimination is thrown on them, there will be room to get that recorded. We need an education system where students will not walk barefooted for kilometers under the scorching sun and, and get welcomed by a broken desk and chairs. And by broken desk and chairs until sleepless and fatigued take their toll. Now tell me, what could be learned in this condition? I thank you all for your kind attention.